Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by His Excellency Ambassador Mohammed Idris, Egypt's permanent representative to the United Nations, to tell us a bit more and talk to us about the achievements of the Egyptian uh, foreign policy for 2020. A very good afternoon to Your Excellency. Good afternoon and greetings to all loved ones in our dear loved country, Egypt. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ambassador. Now, of course, Egypt always moves uh, to ensure the achievement of the Arab and regional security, as well as the preservation of the Egyptian national security, always uh, uh, vying to end uh, crises in the region or in the area through a comprehensive political settlement. Uh, of course, the president himself has embarked on several foreign visits in this regard, also resulted in the strengthening of the Egyptian ties and relations uh, all around the world. How do you see the Egyptian position now, uh, Your Excellency, on the international scene uh, 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 as the year comes to an end? Thank you very much. Of course, this year was definitely uh, overwhelming yes. by uh, tough situations mm -hmm. and uh, so much affected by the pandemic and how it affected the, wo the whole world. Indeed. Not only health-wise, but also economic-wise and politically and socially. So it has very uh, wide ramifications. Yes. And uh, it, it exacerbated already existing mm -hmm. crises and already existing challenges. Of course, Egypt in this, in the UN, and of course through the Egyptian diplomacy, whether on the bilateral uh, track or on the multilateral track in the United Nations and its agencies, uh, uh, always trying to push for uh, advocating peaceful settlements, advocating the interests of uh, our uh, African continent, our Arab world, our regional security. Yes. And of course, there are lots of challenges in this. And during this year, it was part of so many initiatives, which started at the beginning of the year in order to mm. uh, uh, enhance the uh, addressing the ramifications of this uh, pandemic. So Egypt was part of so many uh, initiatives, whether on the political side or on the uh, economic side. On the economic side also, there was initiative for financing for development in the COVID and post-COVID uh, post time. Mm -hmm. And Egypt was a co-lead of one of the working groups in this way. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the, uh, the uh, sovereign initiatives about addressing the impact of this crisis, about the impact of this pandemic on the world scene. Uh, uh, also, the regional uh, security situation in Libya, situation in Syria, situation in Yemen. So there are lots of challenges. And of course, our main central issue and our main central cause is a Palestinian issue. Yes. And the efforts of Egypt did not stop. Mm -hmm. uh, on all those these tracks. At the same time, the track of peacekeeping and peace building. And uh, Egypt is among the top 10 uh, contributors of police and of uh, military and police troops mm -hmm. to the United Nations peacekeeping missions. Mm -hmm. And also in the peace building, which is an important track, as maybe as you have heard recently, Egypt was re elected uh, to the uh, membership of the United Nations Peace Building Commission yes. with the highest vote in the United Nations and uh, Egypt is on the way to be the president of this commission. So there are a lot of tracks, political, economic, peacekeeping, which is matching with the uh, tracks of efforts within the United Nations. Absolutely. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, Ambassador Mohammed, you spoke, of course, about the challenging year uh, that was 2020, of course, uh, mired by the coronavirus pandemic or COVID-19 pandemic, which uh, swept the entire world. Uh, and we've seen Egypt standing up and having a very proactive role, uh, uh, offering assistance to different countries, sending shipments uh, all over the world, really, uh, as well as the African continent, etc., supporting our brothers here and there uh, with uh, medical aid, as well as expertise, know-how, etc. Uh, could you tell us a bit more about the role that Egypt has played uh, uh, and its empathy, really, to uh, its international brothers? Well, frankly, this year and this pandemic put yes. to a stress test the multilateral system and the notion of world solidarity. Mm. And we have seen at the beginning of this pandemic how things got so much confusing, how yes. things got so much uh, mixed together. And 
I think had a clear vision on this, that we were focused, of course, to address the pandemic at the national level yes. with a clear policy based on science and based on a accurate assessment of the situation. And at the same time, we understood that our safety is linked to the safety of our also neighborhood and yes. the safety of the world. Yes. And you see that uh, the, it provided lots of, it was, of course, broadcasted and televised. So it provided lots of uh, equipment, medicine, uh, uh, to the uh, sisterly African countries. And I have to tell you that also that we followed that this uh, assistance came to the United States, mm -hmm. uh, to the city of New York. Yes. And if you have seen the American ambassador in Cairo in a televised uh, uh, interview, he really directed thanks to the Egyptian uh, government people for showing solidarity. So, I mean, this is, is matching with the Egyptian vision that Absolutely. we are part of this world. We are affected by what everything happens in the world, and we have to be contributors as much as we can within our uh, ways and means and capabilities. And I think we did, and we will do. Absolutely, Your Excellency Ambassador Mohammed Idris, uh, Egypt's permanent representative to the United Nations. I'd like to thank you very much, sir, uh, for joining us and for your insight on today's edition of Cairo Local Time. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break, and we will be right back to stay tuned.